can feel the velocity as we get into the game, or will Oblivion Force be able to obliterate Down, as Chimei and No Man? They're gonna get the takedowns here. Quick aggression from the defense. Death Maker will get one. Furious Meow with the answer. But DLT, they're already losing out to the players, but Death Maker bringing death onto two. Yep, that's right. It is finally a three versus two situation here. They're not scared. Our Death Maker playing on the aggressive gets a three piece. They get that four. Will it be a Any kind of push? But Velocity now getting Five insult planted. towards this A community. Also, Hell yeah. FF. He's been, he's been popping off, honestly. Hell FF is someone to watch out for. But Q right now, watch over by Amari. Really do coming into this series. Yep, that's right. And the only thing that uh, Velocity has are the Spectres. The run and gun is possible. Ash forces the side of Oblivion Force back on the wave. Here's Meow, though, with a takedown. But the entry is still real. Velocity coming on through. Put the wall on the left-hand side. And this is going to be a plan towards the right here. They still have control, though, for Oblivion Force to try and contest. And here's oh Meow my is God. not done. One enemy Look at that. Immediately one after the other. Health will be getting at least one in return. That's Hypothor out of the game. Health all alone right now can he do anything out of that not quite and this is the round where finally oblivion force just takes it home for the rest of the fight already use those fire orbs and slow orbs happy to just go for the duel instead oh this has no. to be velocity can also looking to see if they can exploit maybe some overextensions of the side of oblivion force no man though still gets one q is there and you have to respect the mechanical oh, prowess yeah. of the first seed of the hk Taiwan. He had an idea that someone was there, but he wasn't sure. All about navigation though, yes. and Oblivion Forest already anticipating any kind of angle here from Velocity, but right to Ace. All things together. Busy though with a bow and arrow, and he does get surprised by the chamber from the yellow box. Not only that, Fierce Meow shoot Velocity right now. Yeah. Oh man, they are actually- But the thing is, OF is just able to just hit the bricks if they want to, but he says, no man, go! That sage wall just saving them. This is the new wall, I suppose, when you want to uh, put plant all the way on to B. They have the site. And the problem is, Oblivion Force, they had all the area. I'm not too sure why they gave up so much space to Oblivion Force. And Oblivion Force, they're the kind of team that's like, they're just so oppressive once they can get the positions or angles, but no man coming in from the back immediately has to go on the aggressive to avoid that. That right to ace does find Chimi out of the way. The sheriff does come out, spams it out. Oh, he can't see anything, but will get caught out the, uh, on the side. Amaterasu was pretty much ready for him. And there it is. That's the end of that. DLT. I'm so far. Oh, he the wins this is a shot, though. And oh, he's just in front of everyone. Reloading velocity with a punish to me from up top. Hell of though with the takedown, Velocity right now with control of base side, even goes for the rest. But someone needs to protect the teammate, and Pibor is there for the takedown. Hypothor from above, 4v2 for now, for Velocity. They're able to get away with that one and punish No Man and his misses. Yep, that's right. Look at how many utilities were used. Hyperthor is still up now. They are gonna find out. No, he just misses it and he gets one in the back. But look at that. Deathmaker was pretty much ready for him. And Amaran Sarasu just wraps it all up. Fun fact, we always see Velocity has the, the higher advantage compared to OF in general. Look at that. Leo No Man does find health in return. He tried to get a double but doesn't quite get it. Will it be a triple? Not quite as well. Vibor will gonna stop that rate of terror. Chime does trade that out right to Ace. Will stop Chime in return. Deathmaker so deep into the site knives already out when you think about it, this is the second time he has it and they're only so early into the game hyperthor trying to get some information here but look at that knives come out immediately he gets what amaterasu will get q in return and then suddenly it's a two versus three very close a VLT just showing why they're the best in that immediately you get shut down. It's so hard for Oblivion Force to do anything. But in a way, right now, look at that. Immediately, Deathmaker gets one. He knows there's another one there. So there's gonna be a second for him. In terms of gunplay, Deathmaker is just so, so good. And that's the reason why his team is just so easily getting onto the site. It has to be because of Deathmaker. He's just making it so hard uh, so hard for anyone to even peek through. Look at that. Immediately, he spots someone out. Here is Meow. Can't do anything. He does get tagged as well. well. He peeks out and he's seen that maker with the right position at the right time. Over and out though, through where Chimay's trying to come from. And while he's getting decayed here, gets on the outside. Time is running on out. But for still has to be careful. No one's, no one's watching Spike! Oh, they finally oh realized it! Oh, before, before you have to save this for the team! He needs to get the take down! No one will get two though! That got scary for Velocity Gaming, but they will get the round a little too eager 
hunting the operation. But that was with you I guys, watched, yeah! <laughs> I watched you from <laughs> leave the spike alone and just like shop for skins, but right now, Velocity is shopping for real estate and they're getting a good deal out of it. First takedown on the Hype Authority, get the spike plant even, and Living Force looking a little desperate on the buy. So they did go for the operator, but no man's already dead. Amon the Ross is there as well. Kitchen now cleaned up nicely by Velocity, making a meal out of Living Force, and this is just as clean as can be. And notice this that we have that maker here. Oh, he's dead though, but War will get the trade onto, well, no man. I, what I notice is as Velocity are getting these kills, it's a you very really rifle heavy kill. Has Deathmaker actually whipped out an operator? Not so far. The Bordo with three right there is there, and I was just pointing out the fact, and then Vel Velocity decides to basically end the round, and there you go. We're done with the half. Sir, play is coming. See it though. If this pinch can work. Backline being watched over by Q, goes inside the tube, zero point shock darts, preventing Ow. the peak on out, and Velocity! They set up a trap well, just encasing Q in a metal coffin in the middle. So it's 5v4, they did use a lot of utilities though, for that one pick off. The Blue Force setting up the wall there as well, No Man though with a fine auto Matarasu, great angle here from No Man to get to! And he might be the man to watch out for Chimay gets on the board as well. And this is Oblivion Force getting the fight that they want. The fisticuffs are there. And Oblivion Force will win out the pistol. Maybe too much of some utilities to tell everyone else that it's Oblivion Force coming their way. We'll see now what else they can do. Well, only one more flash available here for Matarasa, but Pipor does get the takedown onto Chimay. Oblivion Force, the spike is nowhere near the site as of yet, as much as they'd like. But oh no man now will he get and open things up for the HK Taiwan side. Two here for no man. He's really the guy to watch here. 4v3 so far though, Tash, the spike's gonna get planted. Yup, that's right. No man just really, really making it that much space as much as the Deathmaker was doing earlier. Health turned from the side there, but Q is just ready for that. Matarasu trades him out. But you can think about it, immediately switches out his gun. Gonna try and get the viewers meow out of the way. But look at where they are. They are coming in from multiple angles. They are isolated. There's no crossfire that's coming through. But look at that from the side. They are coming from two angles there. He is very aware that Hypothor's on the side. Deathmaker finds no men in return. But the question is, how is Deathmaker gonna get onto the side? It is a situation where he's all alone. It's one versus two. If he can isolate them, that wouldn't be an issue. But for now, I think it's gonna be he's gonna have to back off. He has no choice. Hyper are gonna find him in the back here, but who is just faster at the initial shots here? It's gonna be uh, Matarasu actually. <laughs> yeah, it's just a on B and look at how fast they move. They can go really quiet and really just go on the aggressive. And the rotates, unfortunately, from VLT is just a little bit too slow. Viva was all alone. This was just what this was that's exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, as you can see it here. Blue Force now. Time taking Q though might be the linchpin out of nowhere. Backstab is real. No man gonna get three. And right to Ace, the only one to survive. Before the clutch moment, finds a second there. Collected nature of this Sova. But really, the numbers on the other side. Looking to shut him down. Dark though does come. Will get broken. 3v1. Look at the hunt from the Oh my god. They still want the fight. They're just not gonna accept They're looking for him. Will be a double one to no. That's a double key. Oblivion forces. Once they get all that space, they're pretty much ready to hold. And it's just so hard to do anything. But Q does get Vibor out of the way. Yes, it is a trade. But it's still really, really annoying. And this is now 4v4. Surprise, surprise. is all the way towards that B side. And Chimay. Finds a takedown at the right to ace, not the best arsenal for velocity whatsoever. They committed so much to try and hold that ace side, but no man just does not miss and still finds the head of Amaterasu anyway. Up on top to main now, catching out that maker. LFF does find two to make that three even. Might have a chance here, he does have the res, but we'll go for the heal instead. Now then, Living Force backing away, time is ticking, might not have the time, doesn't even have the life to do so. Three Living Force has done, they went for the commit towards that A-site. What happens? Living Force says, okay, let's just back on away. And this time, it's even harder. Hell FF, he's gone from this round, no more second chances whatsoever. Operate, they're making it smart. It's Deathmaker now with the op himself, haven't seen it too much in this game. 
for the Hunter's Fury is the call. Oblivion Force gonna completely ignore it yet again. They back on the way. Great suppress though to just put Spike the down, jet B. lower on the ground. Amaterasu and Q with the trays there. We have that Taker getting the head of Hypothor. And Q finally gonna be removing the KO from the equation. But look at Oblivion Force. You don't expect this on the defense that they're right behind you. And it's like flat and 3v1 before. Can he actually clutch it a little bit? And just Velocity cannot catch a break. The, the But it just works on the attack because these guys know that this is the way they play. And the Velocity... You really love to see them play that way. So now, let's take a look at these two teams. What exactly can they do? Allies. But here is Meow with communicating, which is something that we saw in the beginning, but it's not now. Now, I'm not dressed from playing from the back there. will be walking straight into that slow Vibor finds Here is me, Meow. We'll do a double peek for a second there, but not quite getting a second. Uh, Q from the side, immediately one tap to the head. Hell FF. 30 Just seconds left. It as much as he needs for his team if he can. Yeah, finally, we're getting it back for Velocity. The bodyguard system. You saw it there many times. Amaterasu, that would have been a, such a bad scenario with the fragment out. But Hell FF. Enemy and remaining. Vibor, the protection is real. Especially by Parwago. Definitely though, with the blades. 10, 10 seconds, seconds left. No left. man. He's not even- okay, he's now gonna go for the save. I was like, is he really gonna push this? He still wants more frags? Is he that greedy for the takedowns? But now he's Thrifty. pinched. And Velocity will take the third. Article, we've seen that earlier. And we've seen that again in attack. But, uh, Deathmaker now with the up. Now then, the board though is gonna get spotted and he's peaked by the chamber in time. We will play from Bloom for so far. He will now regroup just a little bit to set up that spike plan, but Amaterasu, he is one god to watch out for, and he will get the takedown to Hypothor now, non-believer not believe there to get the takedown, Q also left. stepping on, not what he needs to the most, and just out of nowhere in the middle, there's the control here for Oblivion Force, suddenly a different kind of plan here for the side of OF, they were looking towards that A side, and Velocity did not expect this coming. Deathmaker though, shot flies, and we'll get the takedown. Thor as well as Furious Meow, the question is, can they outgun, and immediately there is the recon dart, but this side, Thanks to their initial setup, but up close to personal! Oh, he misses Amaterasu, pushes him oh forward! My God. Already got the kill! Finally, no man will see him! And no man is not done! He's the rock, he's the island, and he's the one to watch out for here! For Oblivion Force, but Deathmaker will have his number now to make it 2v2. Spike, though, taking on away. Wall is placed. Just be a bother. And question now, it lands. What will Deathmaker do next here? Picks up the rifle instead. Velocity trying to play protection, but the flank is potentially the problem from above. Q is there. Vibor now with the DQ. Shots do come. Classic is out. And Q will get the takedown before let's go. We'll get the kill. And map point finally for Velocity. It's just such a hunt here from Open Force. It's like Jaws the shark is circling around you. But this time, Velocity is able to stay on land. Yeah, that's right, and you gotta hard stopping moments courtesy of Blizzard Force. But right now, Deathmaker wants oh to stop Oh my god, this. that trade! But the trade, exactly that! How the team pull. But for now, this is the wall. They are gonna try and isolate the other team from any rotates. There is the revive coming out. Vibor stepping up, and Q suddenly is now out of the way. And look at how hard it is for them to play retakes here, especially with this Viper's pick. Amaterasu playing inside as well. Vibor gets another one. Teammate will be one. There's a three piece for that, but Furious Meow will be returning the favor. And here's o uh, OF Meow. With the revive as well, making it a little bit more safe, at least as a two versus three situation. A little bit more on this winnable side, but they sit no. Doesn't matter of how many people you revive. Skillful enough to hang out with the rest of SEA. Kind of looked over, and well, that maker will be looking at Q, who was ill prepared. Short, it's a good ding that he actually does manage to find. Dashes in, two players, but somehow survives and gets a kill on top of that. So, oh, yeah, they're doing phenomenally here, but trades are coming in, and it's going to be a 2v3 at the end of it. BLT have managed to find a foothold, a strong one, into this round as the spike does go spike down forward. Planted. Spike side's a very good opportunity for BLT to make this happen, but the aiming player's already been dealt with. So now, just a double heaven push coming in here towards that site. Amaterasu is going to have to open things up, but he's already... Oh, my God, it's actually him. Low on HP, he gets taken out. Now it's a 1v2. Oh. Deathmaker's just holding the line. Aggressive coming from Deathmaker. Uh, he does have support, but it's towards A side they go. No man. He's found on no man's land as he does get removed quite handily. 3 HP and a toying with fire here. Could have gotten spammed through the wall, but he survives. 
But it's gonna be a nice crossfire. That it gets the space that the Living Force needs. But as I say that, hell of FSA, hello, right to Ace there. With the right to get the takedown, but you may. Two in a row for the K. How does though? It's just gonna for Furious Meow. He stays there, right to Ace. Far away from that trade, Deathmaker. He's gonna make that contact. No, it's Hypothor who actually does. That's gonna open up the Ace side quite a bit here. Now, Vibor knows that he's in a lot of trouble, has to hold this Hellsight all on his lonesome. They're spread out. Standing ahead. The VLT, they're in a lot of trouble. That Recon Dart should be perfect. Lands squarely on his feet. With 12 seconds left, they make their way onto the site. Spike tap goes down. They're playing. They're toying, jiggle peeking right around this corner here. Hypothor low on HP. We'll call for backup the moment it's been planned, but he wins one. He wins both, and Vibor isolates the fight to bother if ever they decide to go for the commitment. Let's make it so now. Cloud Burst is there. Oblivion Force. Will push on through, and here comes Hell FF. Deathmaker don't win another fight. Deathmaker with a third, and it's time for Velocity to try to oh. pop up a Q. He's there with two instead, and it's now two v two. And the sheriffs are online before those stuck in the boat house can hero out of this one. Left. Not gonna happen. All up now to Amaterasu though, as the lockdown will be committed. Spikes being planted. Amaterasu slowly through the speedway. Might see the silver coming, <gasps> and it's Q who finds the three K anyway. A thrifty win from Oblivion. The Carney, and then that you. No, 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 no. No, but oh no, that's a that's a juggle gone wrong. I don't imagine that we'll be able to cut anything off. Oh no, he misses the shot. Pulls out the short, he wins anyway. And the shot this is scrappy around to say the least. But still, numbers whittling down for both teams. Three v four. Spike does get planted. No man. Pull out his operator. That nets him another kill here. But there's still a lot of work to be done for VLT side. They have to clear B main. It's gonna be top here. Good flash. Amaterasu finds one. The trade frag just not there. Not there at all because Amaterasu making mincemeat of the B main presence. They find themselves in a 2v2. His Q is low in HP, but can they pull it off yet again here? Smoke fades away. Could be the right time for them to get into that site. Oh, right to Ace with the 180. But it's now a 1v1, and Amaterasu finishes things off with a nice triple kill. Help them clear site a little bit longer. It's going to be Hypothor who actually does get the. Kill. He gets a double right there. He finds two with a Hunter's Fury. Now the short push comes through. Cloud Burst pushes through it, and Heal somehow wins that as well. So these kills coming out of absolutely nowhere forces VL. This is another case in point. It was such a secure sight take that they no one to follow up just yet. They're gonna leave. Oh, that's a great defense. The crossfire holds for now, and they shut down two. They still have to find three more right down this wall. Ooh, exposes the shoulder down, just enough for Deathmaker to get that peek. Can't get the headshot, but quickly traded off. That's gonna be VLT to find yet again the crucial kill out while I go through the smoke anyway. Flash comes on out. Fragment now from Matarasu to drop the push. But Hell FF will take advantage anyway. Peek on out. No man now with trade. Hunter Series there. Paranoia in the play. Multitudes of utilities and ultimate. That information. Hunter's Fury came out. No hesitation. They decide to pop that guy. Gets another one. Three kills for him. Two off the back of that brilliant Hunter's Fury. So the utility usage from VLT pretty much sparkling at the moment. Furious Meow will <laughs> almost bit the dust right there. Toying on the edge of that shock dart, but gonna get that pick off. He plays sometimes aggressively, sometimes passively, but aggression comes in from No Man as he does find the first kill. A nice double, could be a triple, runs out of blades, switches to a frenzy. Is it enough? No, his teammates pick up the pieces as Furious Meow picks up the third kill on this round, brought to a 2v5. And this ego is just turned. And as Jermaine turns on the round, he knows that Matarasu is coming. Fragment, so be a bother. Right smack dab in the center. Matarasu and Hell FF with the takedown now. With Velocity, they're running out of time. Furious now with the 3k anyway. And it's 6 to 5 the 3. Now that it's not in the picture, see what they can do. It's going to be Nomad to actually get that pick onto Matarasu, traded by Hell. 4 v 4. So, a couple of seconds here before that lockdown does disperse, but. Gonna be a nice couple of kills here by Hell. He finds a nice triple. Still switches on over. Before Ooh, misses the shot completely, but he pulls out his ultimate Shime. And this two v one health. They know where health is. So they only have ten seconds to go plant the spike. No time to really reposition. But health looking for the ace right now. Can he get it? One v one. Low HP on Shime. Very doable, and he hits the headshot with the ace as he gets the advantage here on that halftime security. Now though. How did he open putting that spike right bit in between? This pistol, A side open, flank coming in. It's gonna be the kills from OF. They take three without a trade at all. But Amaterasu and Deathmaker, they've gotten two. Still a lot of work to be done for Deathmaker. And the 1v3, I don't know. 
hard to isolate from Q to after down these sides. Maybe no matter with the initial kill, but he's the one who's dead first to the hand of the board. Here's Mado, so as the fragments will force this killjoy to back on wave before though comes on through the middle and we'll get the takedown on the hypercar spikes planted in the 4v3 that maker though making quick work of here is meow does seem like he's hunts the cats and then now Amaterasu does get the kill after q gets one jimay now the only one left that maker though juggling the guns oh. but eventually the weight meow the survivability, the fight or flight, and he chose white, and it worked out. His utility, however, has been dwindled away. A lot of utility is gone from the OF side in order to retake this one. You have to have an owl drone, it comes out, identifies one, no man finds a pick, Q gets another. Now we're brought to a 3v4, to make that a 2, as Q finds another double, and it's Q again, again, a step up time and time again. He's found another. Ah. <laughs> yes. But you make a really good point there, despite that. It's a new wave here as Deathmaker will wave your time. And he is still, Q is still right there, ready with a lockdown. And if anyone can make this retake happen for Oblivion Force, it might be him. Chimedo falls to the hand of LFF and Velocity getting a bigger advantage. In my bones, man. It's gonna go the distance. <laughs> it's because we talked about Michael it. Michael Bolt. Well, towards B, they do go. It's a full rush. Classic. Tested. Tried and true as Deathmaker gets the entry. Tr Quick trade. We find a 4v3. Operator on the retake might elect to switch out on it as it does. Uh, the door does close down. Spike big does kudos. go get planted. Spike planted. Spike there. That was a big kudos to Deathmaker because the utility, honestly, was a little too late from Vibor. Still got the kill anyway. So, Velocity, they're gonna need to sync that up just a little bit more. But the nitpick doesn't really matter because it's 4v3 already. Chimedo with a closer flash. Here we have now the zero point flying on by Amaterasu. That's a really far off love. But hell, FF, Vibor on the board. Fierce now, the only one left. Suddenly, the comes and Fierce now with the transfer onto the second one. But though, getting the hell out of there after the flash drive comes and for Velocity, there's the punish Spike now that we a. have been looking for. Velocity has been having that tendency to run out with the utilities, but they're usually saved by the teammates. Not that time, but Deathmaker now making it 4v4 anyway. Chimay right behind the boxes. So Fierce now with a takedown off of Vibor and in the front. Man, there is just no way out here for Deathmaker to me. The chimes are ringing and you can feel the wind Please. blowing in favor of Vinforce. And let's right to Ace can become right to Clutch. 1v3 though, breaking the window. And OQ, he finds a head and he is dead. Earth B, they go yet again. Found a lot of success. No man can't win. He didn't dash out. Man, just completely caught off guard by the Aldron and now right to Ace. Even from afar after Hell FF gets to Paranoia Throne. But the thing is, Velocity has oh, entrapped Furious now, but he will not go down without a fight. Remaining. This is just a cat try to claw his way out of the cage. Hell FF though finally gets the third. And it's all up to Jamei here. Sandwich between two, but can isolate the angles and the clashes. Goes after right to Ace first. Finds? The corner towards B main and into the takedown, but Hell FF will say hello. This is one of the great things about having Omen back into the meta. You have that fragging potential yet again. With the Astra, the gravity well, the double pulses are in the way and it slows down the pace to a crawl sometimes, but suddenly someone like the Omen can be cheeky with the angles and can just be willing to go for the duels anyway as soon as they unleash the paranoias and dark covers. But this is just a round where Velocity has a huge advantage on the guns and they will use that to push towards that B site. But if anyone can play the hero here for Blaven Force, it's not no man, he's already gone, but it might be furious now. Lockdown is available here for Q. They break down the gates of the market. LFF though, still ready to pop off. Headhunter fully loaded, but they know the Killjoy is coming from the spawn side. Turret is there. Amaterasu now waiting for the Killjoy to peek. Anyway, Furious now though, too busy watching team main. And the backstab is real. They've ignored Amaterasu. Uh, timeout, uh, tactical. Just to sort of sort out what... Oh, if want to do in this one, I do think that VLT they're pretty much they've got OF on the ropes. They've shown that they can. I just versus now just fishing for a kill. They're unable to get it. So Presto is real. The deck maker doesn't care because Hypothor will be his victim. Q though, with great trade peeking towards the middle. It's already looking to be an A take here from Velocity Paranoia Throne, cutting the assaults into a few waves here and really a few times this right here Ilu as well as Oblivion Force they can actually put a stop to this one they do and oh the teleport out oh, I thought for a second he might have been able to survive but just doesn't 
Be guilty. Planted. They're in the driving seat. They're in prime position to take this map to continue to continue on and fight as the sole representative of South Asia. However, health is low on HP, but Amaterasu makes up for it before as well. And Amaterasu closes.